Luigi is probably the most consistent character in the entire game. He has extremely balanced stats, but is also very good on offense. Luigi is the only character with a maximum 17 technique, so even though his shooting is pretty low, it doesn't really matter. This video will cover three different builds you can use for Luigi in order to get maximum gains from his potential. Before we start, of course, let's go ahead and take a look at Luigi's base stats. All of his stats are relatively low except for technique, but like I said before, it doesn't really matter. Luigi has 11 strength, which is the same as Mario. He also has one less speed, so he's slightly slower. They swap the shooting and passing stat to take four points off of shooting and add it into passing. So Luigi is going to be a little bit more utility based than Mario is. And also he has a very high technique, so he's still a deadly shooter on offense. For this reason, I don't really see Luigi being a good captain pick, but he's very good as a top or bottom side wing. The first build is going to be the Striker Luigi, which will put all the points I can into technique or shooting. Compared to the other Strikers of Mario and Rosalina, Luigi just doesn't seem to have as much shooting potential, but he does have a very high technique without a lot of investment. This build uses the Trick Helmet, the Bushido Bracers, the Cannon Plate, and the Cannon Boots. Since his technique is so high, I can invest two items into shooting instead. I know I said Luigi is not that great as a captain, but this is the way that I'm going to test out how the Luigi feels, and there's not really a way to put him in any other position. So just like normal, I'm going to load the team with Yoshis and just see how it goes. So as I suspected, Luigi's not great on the faceoff, and it definitely cost me this goal, but that's not why I'm judging him. He is going to be better in other ways. Trust me, it gets better, bro. Trust me, trust me, man. Just, just... Ah, here we go. That's what I've been waiting for. Oh gee, my opponent scored again. So did I. Meanwhile, my opponent tries to do the same cheese, but that doesn't really work out for him because as you can see, when Luigi's on his own, he is just going to rip it. Honestly, having high technique is just a cheat code, man. I mean, look at this. As soon as I get any shot off from anywhere on the field, it's going in. And I don't really know how Luigi was able to slip this one through, but he makes these as well. Those of you who have played with me, you know that I hate going into overtime because the items are just insane, but luckily Luigi was even able to score this goal. Luigi was an absolute monster. If I learned one thing from running this build of Luigi is that you cannot sleep on him as a striker. He's honestly almost as consistent as Mario or Rosalina. Also, Luigi has the added benefit of having a little bit more passing, which means he can still do his wing position and get the ball to his teammates. Although I still do find Luigi a weird spot to pick, because if you are going to choose a striker like this, why wouldn't you choose Rosalina or Mario? But before I get too far into that, here is another build of Luigi, which is a lot more balanced. I think with Luigi's technique so high, he makes a great well-rounded character because all of his other stats can be average and he can do pretty much any job on the team. This build uses no gear on the head, cannon gloves, cannon plate, and the Bushido sandals. Boy, if this isn't the most average team you've ever seen in your life. But honestly, it's really fun to play. I mean, like I said, every character can do their job on the team, and Luigi is just the best at it. One thing that is bad about this team comp, though, is I don't really have strength, so it's very hard to play defense. And as you can see from this face-off after that goal, Luigi just takes a huge hit to his scoring potential. So pretty much any shot you take is going to have to be from up close, like that cheesy goal. It is much easier to be in tune with your defense though, because every character is running the same speed, and every character is going to have the same strength, so you never have to take care of that. Also, everyone pretty much has equal shooting potential, so anyone you pass it to has the same chance of getting it in the net. I honestly don't think I should have made this goal, but I'll take it. Now that I think about it, almost every goal I had this game was something like that, so maybe there is something to having all of these balanced players. They just hit consistently. It is honestly really fun to run your offense in a way where every character does the same thing, so you can just focus on playing soccer and nothing else. But anyway, this build, like I said, is pretty bad on defense, but if you want one character who is a nice all-arounder, Luigi is a very solid pick. For the last build of the day, I wanted to see what Luigi would be like if he got a little bit more speed and still kept that same high technique, almost like a peach. This build uses the Trick Helmet, the Trick Gloves, the Turbo Pad, and the Bushido Sandals. While it is nice to have a support character on the team that is fast and has really good technique, I don't really see this Luigi build being better than, say, using a peach or another qualified character. 
But if there is a reason to use this character, it's just because he's a better shooter. Yes, you're going to be sacrificing a little bit of speed compared to Peach or Toad, but you are going to be able to score from a little bit farther out, and your combo passes aren't going to die out if you take a shot from midfield. Also, unlike the other builds of Luigi today, he actually does have a presence on defense, and he's able to steal balls and apply pressure. To whoever I was playing here, I'm really sorry about this one. This was disrespectful. You didn't deserve it, but I had to. I had to do it. But honestly, even on this offensive play, you can see that Luigi still does have some ability to score from out back because of his high technique. So this build is actually a little better than I anticipated. He's able to do offense, he's able to do defense, he just kind of does it all. I would recommend this build if you already have a better striker on your team, but you really can't depend on him to be the only striker on your team. That is going to be it for the Luigi gear build guide. Feel free to leave your Luigi builds in the comments below. As for my final thoughts, I think Luigi is in a weird spot. He's a great striker, but just a little worse than Mario or Rosalina. He's a great utility player, but just slightly worse than Peach and Toad. So I'm not really sure how to put him exactly, even though he's a really good character. Does he go down on the tier list? Maybe, maybe not. I think it's just because other characters do his job better. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you would like to see more gear builds similar to this one, and have a nice day, everybody.